I've never met a person who was not successful that didn't have a great amount of self-discipline within their life. Uh, self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. Every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. There are things you like, you have absolutely no control. You are like a slave to you. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You always want to blame other people. You want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. And you need to get rid of them excuses. And you need to stop pointing fingers at people. And you need to start pointing fingers at yourself. What did you not do? Let weaker people complain that the world isn't fair. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. Discipline is the root of all good qualities, but you have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. It's, it's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. Discipline is training. If you change your mindset and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. Basic fundamentals being applied over and over and over and over again. Getting up a certain time, doing certain things, cooking your meals, walking through the disciplines, keeping a checklist, and staying on top. And those are the things that, you know, you string them together, start to create a day of efficient action. The more likely you are to string those days of efficient action together, the more likely it will be that you can set up your own success. It's about facing your fears. It's discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road, to do what's right. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. Look, if you're going to become a concert pianist, there's going to be several thousand hours of extraordinary disciplined practice. That's the imposition of order on your potential, let's say. But what comes out of that is a much grander freedom. And so virtually every freedom that you have in life that's true freedom is purchased at the price of discipline. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no, tell you stop, tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. Whatever it takes, you got to be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else, because it's easier to blame somebody else. It's learning to discipline this mind. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle, emotion is a muscle. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, maybe we'll do it tomorrow, I'm gonna do this, or oh, let me like two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that shit with me. For decades I go, I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul knows. And when I say jump, you can jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Instead of letting your goals and your tasks and your health and your discipline waver, rise up and aggressively move forward down the path 
toward victory. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves to process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. The only thing you do for success, there's no discount. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. You can't get 50% off. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are. And stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. You cannot cheat success. You got to work for it. You got to breathe it. You got to sleep it. You got to eat it. You got to put forth 120% because there's somebody out there who wants your spot. It's the hidden work. I look at it as like a rock, and that rock is you. And every day you fight not wanting to get up, and you do anyway. You chip another piece off that fucking rock. And every day you go to train, you train harder and harder and harder and harder, and you get up earlier, and all these things you do to start forming yourself. You're chipping another piece of that rock up. Before you know it, that rock, it becomes the masterpiece in which you can create it. Greatness has a cost. It reschedules your plans for you. It puts your family and friends on hold. It makes you feel misunderstood. And it will put you in some deep, dark hole. Greatness demands everything from your mind, your body, your spirit, and your soul. It takes dedication, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes obsessive, compulsive, ridiculous amounts of effort. You better dedicate every fucking second of every day, of every week, of every month, of every fucking year for a lot of fucking years in a row if you ever want to get these kind of goals. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they are going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. So stop thinking about it. Stop dreaming about it. Stop researching every aspect of it and debating the pros and cons of it. Start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen here and now.